The array of famous people documented or assumed to have the INFJ personality type show the vast difference each INFJ truly has. With utmost compassion and the need to be a part of positive change in the world, each famous INFJ comes with their own mission, and with that, values and beliefs we could all learn a thing or two from. Welcome, or welcome back, psychos! In today's video, we're presenting you with some of the most inspirational quotes said by the most influential INFJs. But before we get into it, we'd love it if you liked and subscribed to our channel, as well as to click the post notification bell so you never miss a video. Alright, let's jump right into it by starting with the philosophical psychologist and philanthropist Carl Jung. With vast knowledge and influential work documented in anthropology, archaeology, literature, philosophy, psychology, and various religious studies, Carl concludes that who looks outside dreams, who looks inside awakes, and that in all chaos there is a cosmos, in all disorder a secret order. After all, Jung was known to use tools like meditations to the point of using his imaginative abilities to slip into a hallucinatory state at will. Luckily, not all of this psychiatrist's views were so deep. He also said, as far as we can discern, the sole purpose of human existence is to kindle a light in the darkness of mere being. A perfect example of how through all the complex thinking that goes in the mind of an INFJ, all that really matters to them is that there's inherent kindness involved at all times. Number 2. Speaking of kindness, what about the famous children's author who is known for giving away so much of their earnings that they passed up their self-made billionaire title? If you guessed J.K. Rowling, famous author of the Harry Potter series, you are absolutely correct. A self-proclaimed INFJ with the reputation to prove it, this successful fantasy writer didn't get her fame and fortune right from the start. In fact, according to Rowling, some failure in life is inevitable. It is impossible to live without failing at something unless you live so cautiously that you might as well not have lived at all, in which case you fail by default. That sounds like a clip right from the inner banter of the INFJ's logical side and their perfectionistic imagination. INFJs have to often remind themselves that they can't plan things right to the last detail, but that their imagination is incredibly powerful with no expectations attached. J.K. Rowling summed this up perfectly by saying, unlike any other creature on this planet, humans can learn and understand without having experienced they can think themselves into other people's places. We do not need magic to change the world. We carry all the power we need inside ourselves already. We have the power to imagine better. Number 3. When it comes to making a change in the world, there's nothing that stopped INFJ Martin Luther King Jr. from shaking people's realizations. With the drive of empathy, common sense, and the belief that things can change, MLK is known for saying love is the only force capable of transforming an enemy into a friend. And darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate, only love can do that. With courageous inspirational words and non-violent protests, this transformative INFJ and his actions are the perfect example of the sacrifices it takes when you can't bear to accept inequality, toxic hierarchy, and mass acceptance of human indecency. In the end, King was striving for a perfect society, just conversation. Or, more simply put in his own words, peace if possible, truth at all costs. Number 4. On the topic of mass historical movements in the name of peace, MLK isn't the only documented INFJ to have made a serious mark. With the belief that you must not lose faith in humanity, humanity is an ocean. If a few drops of the ocean are dirty, the ocean does not become dirty. Mahatma Gandhi became a lawyer, an anti-colonial nationalist, and a political ethicist to eventually inspire civil rights and freedom movements across the world. Of course, the drive behind these mass movements can be explained through his famous quote, Be the change you wish to see in the world. 
as that's exactly what he went and did, quite literally. However, without the much-needed INFJ balance to carry him through, there wouldn't have been much progress made. Because, after all, especially for the INFJ, happiness is when what you think, what you say, and what you do are in harmony. Number 5. And another INFJ activist that has made her mark on freedom and equality movements is none other than Anna Eleanor Roosevelt, American diplomat and activist. Roosevelt believed that we gain strength and courage and confidence by each experience in which we really stop to look fear in the face. We must do that which we think we cannot, which is probably what drove her to seek support for World War II refugees and affirm the right to education, shelter, and medical care. Amidst some of the toughest times in American history, Eleanor shone a light and brought empathy and care out from the darkness. She taught everyone to never allow a person to tell you no who doesn't have the power to say yes, and to do one thing every day that scares you. And maybe, with those simple pieces of advice, change won't seem so unachievable. Number 6. Speaking of INFJ advice, there's no better advice for INFJs to live by than this very quote from a true INFJ himself. People respond in accordance to how you relate to them. If you approach them on the basis of violence, that's how they'll react. But if you say, we want peace, we want stability, we can then do a lot of things that will contribute towards the progress of our society. INFJ Nelson Mandela, who is considered the father of modern South Africa due to his anti-apartheid revolution and political leading, put his abilities of relating to others and changing his attitude to best adapt to different walks of life to use. With his people-person skills and the power to fight injustice, Nelson claimed he learned that courage was not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. The brave man is not he who does not feel afraid, but he who conquers that fear. And in the end, according to Nelson, it always seems impossible until it's done. Number 7. Give the world the best you have, and it may never be enough. Give the world the best you've got anyway. Nun and missionary INFJ Mother Teresa became a household name due to the many acts of kindness and activism she was known for throughout her life. Mother Teresa showed the world the true meaning of charity and the exact opposite of greed. With the belief that work without love is slavery and a life not lived for others is not a life, if you look at all of this INFJ's humanitarian efforts, the motivation behind her generosity is clear. Between educating the poorest or the poor, feeding the homeless and providing safe spaces for the forgotten, Mother Teresa's main goal was to give every ounce of love outwards in order to fuel that love within. Because, according to this inspirational woman, the hunger for love is much more difficult to remove than the hunger for bread. Number 8. Last but not least, we're going to be discussing an influential INFJ known for her primatologist and anthropologist actions. Choosing a considerably taboo career of studying wild chimpanzees, there's no question whether or not this INFJ followed her own path and didn't follow society's expectations. Could you take a wild guess at who we're talking about? If you guessed INFJ Jane Goodall, you're exactly right. Animal conservation icon and animal activist Jane showed compassion, empathy, and selflessness in true INFJ style throughout her life. With the unwavering belief that every individual matters, every individual has a role to play, every individual makes a difference. Jane has claimed, the least I can do is speak out for those who cannot speak for themselves. But best of all, Jane learned through her years that, although she chose the road less traveled, nothing can be done with sheer solitude and independence. In a past interview, Jane claimed, I've had an extraordinary journey through my 84 years. It's something I could never have imagined when I was young and, during the journey, many people have supported me. We can't do it alone. It's really important to build our friendships. Well, psychos? That's it for today's video. So, what's your favorite quote said by an influential INFJ throughout history?
Let us know in the comments below. Also, make sure to leave us a like, share with your friends, and also subscribe to our channel so that you never miss a video.